Hey everyone, Tempo 2.5 has just been released with a set of new TraceQL features which we are excited to talk about today. Let's dig in. First, we're going to start with the empty query, just selects everything. And the last few months in TraceQL have really been focused on some metrics additions. Uh, if you recall, we've added uh, the rate. So I can do rates of spans now. This is rating all my spans. Uh, as always, I can add some filters here, like name equals, let's te test one of these. Let's look for authenticate, perhaps. Um, and I can see how many times per second this particular span, this rate function. So that was in Tempo 2.4. Uh, in 2.5, we've added two new metrics functions, which we're going to talk about today. The first is the much requested uh, histogram. Ooh, actually, let's go with quantiles over time. Quantile over time. Duration, we're going to name field. So I'm going to name one of the fields in the span. This can be anything I want. In this case, I'm going to say duration. And we'll pick a few quantiles. So I'm going to say some pretty common ones here, P99, P90, and P50. And we can clearly see uh, down here that um, we're looking at the quantiles uh, at these various points for this particular span name authenticate. So I have P50 down here, P90 looks to be about uh, 160 milliseconds or so, and the uh, P99 is about 300 or so milliseconds, 250 to 300. So uh, quantiles over time are going to let us have a nice way to aggregate our uh, duration or our um, or our any kind of numeric attribute on the span. If I look kind of closely here, I can probably find one. Let's have some fun with status code, for instance. So uh, name, list articles, what might make sense, what so would definitely make sense if I ask for quantiles of the duration, like most people want. We're interested in how long some of these uh, activities are taking. But let me just have some fun and do span.hb.status code. Uh, the quantile over time function can take any field from our span, including the duration, and we can do some fun things with it like this. And we can get the P99 and the P50 and the P90 of our status code, which makes no sense, but it's kind of fun to calculate, I suppose. Uh, in addition to quantiles, uh, we have added histograms. Histograms are, or quantiles are actually kind of based on the histograms. And I'm going to switch over to this uh, dashboard here because the histograms, the heat maps are not supported in Explorer. So here I have uh, a name, uh, a span name, list articles, and I've just asked for histogram over time of the duration. So with the quantiles, we specify the quantiles we're interested in because we're doing that math to go from a histogram to quantiles. Uh, but if all you're interested in is the histogram itself, you want to see this raw data, the heat map is kind of cool to look at. We can see that with the histogram over time function. So two new, uh, two new additions to the language uh, for the TraceQL metrics, uh, histogram over time and quantile over time. A new change in TraceQL also is we're moving away from these intrinsic names that we've been using so far. So you all are used to things like trace duration, for instance, to ask a select for traces that are over a certain uh, duration, over a certain time period, in this case, one second. And we have a lot of these. We call these intrinsics, like kind equals server. We have um, uh, duration. This is span duration. We have uh, all kinds of stuff, right? Status equals OK, error, all, any kind of, all these different things that we call intrinsics of the span. Uh, we're moving away from these uh, uh, plain intrinsic names and we're adding a scope to all of them. So we're not going to remove the old ones, uh, but we're going to start adding a scope to all added intrinsics. So now instead of just status, you're going to type span colon status. Uh, and instead of kind, we have span, colon, kind, and the old ones are going away, and then we have no uh, no reason to get rid of them just yet. Oh, my bad. Span kind equals, uh, let's do client perhaps. Uh, the old ones are going away, but we now have uh, the ability to sh have these scoped intrinsics, which I think is going to work a lot better. For instance, before we were trace typing trace duration, uh, which might be a bit unwieldy. And now we have trace colon duration, which kind of is nicely symmetrical with span colon duration, depending on what you're interested in. We have two new TraceQL intrinsics. One is trace ID, which you can see here, as well as span ID. So these are gonna allow us in the TraceQL language directly to query for uh, trace IDs, which can we can use to do some really neat things, especially with metrics. For instance, um, it is not uncommon for Tempo or Loki to create tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of span traces. I love this new trace ID uh, in, uh, intrinsic because I can ask cool questions like, 
how many spans per second does one trace create? I could also ask a question like, how many times does my, uh, does this particular trace hit cache? How fast does it hit cache? Or now that we have the new, the new functions in place, I could say, uh, how slow is the cache for this one trace? So when uh, Tempo does their, its read calls over large amounts of data, it often creates 100,000 plus span traces. And this can be very difficult to, uh, to look at and understand and get information out of with a single trace view. Uh, now that we've added trace ID to the language directly where you can select a trace ID, uh, I think we're gonna see some really neat applications, especially over metrics where I can find out how fast a specific request is doing a, a, a one of its doing one of its operations, or how long a specific operation is taking for a given trace. Some people don't have this problem. Your traces are maybe more normal in the tens of spans to hundreds of spans. But I think for those of us with extremely large traces, this new trace ID uh, intrinsic is going to be fantastic. So there you go. We have uh, we have the new functions for metrics: histogram over time, a quantile over time. We have this transition from uh, the uh, old style intrinsics to the new style intrinsics, where we're gonna start using colon, we're gonna start scoping all of our intrinsics, trace colon duration, span colon ID, span colon kind. Uh, and then the final thing is that two new uh, intrinsics that we've added, trace ID and span IDs to do some, some neat and niche things, I think, with uh, TraceQL for, uh, for power users, for people who are looking to do some, maybe some things that I wanna do, perhaps. But anyways, take care, uh, enjoy the new features of TraceQL, and we'll see you in 2.6.